hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can build a beta Gellert Grindelwald um, for LEGO Fantastic Beasts. Now, this is LEGO's actual version, um, there is Percival Graves as well, but this is a pretty good one of them. However, there is some design flaws, um, or if you just want to like, if you just want them to look a little bit more accurate, then that would be pretty cool. So, yeah, just a moment ago, my desk is a mess. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take off those legs, and then we are going to take some plain grey legs. Um, it could be from Credence or Jacob or any minifigure in your collection. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so we've so I've taken off my plain grey legs. It was really difficult. And now we're just gonna clip these on. Uh. Uh. Okay, this is really hard to get on. Uh. Yeah, be really stiff. Really, really stiff. So, what we're going to do now is that you're going to take your, like, skirt piece from your Scarif Stormtrooper. And it's that one that came in the promotional poly bag. We're going to put this on top of here. And this is going to be kind of, um, like, the continuation of Grindelwald's waistcoat. Because then, like, it'll go to the back as well. And I think his normal torso piece is going to be perfect, so, um, so far it looks pretty good, and you can see his emblem. Now, not everybody will be able to do this. Um, if you can't do this, you can just use, like, your regular Grindelwald head, but I think this will be more accurate. Take your Percival Graves, I just took off his hair piece, and you switch it around to the Grindelwald face. And there we go. Now, not everybody will be able to do this because of how um, valuable Grindelwald is. So, um, yeah. Now, the most difficult thing for me is his hair piece. Because um, it's just like a widow's peak in white. And, um, I mean, it, it's okay. Like, it, like, the hair color is good, but, um, like, um, yeah, it just doesn't look good. So... It was a challenge, because I don't think Lego has released the spiky hair in white, either. Um, and I thought that maybe they would have released it for Quicksilver. Um, so, yeah, like, um, I think they, until I just realized, oh, here's, like, um, Surf Dude's hair piece in white. So, I can't use Quicksilver's hair piece, plus I, plus I don't even have a Quicksilver, so... Yeah, so, this is going to be kind of rough. So, I took um, what I had the closest to, and it's this here in white. And, yeah, it does look really off. But it's the best I can do it. But in some light angles, it actually does kind of look like white here. Like, that does look a bit white. I do know that in the case with Black Widow from the Avengers Infinity War sets, her hair was white in the movie, but they made it light yellow, so I guess that's kind of, um, what I had to do. Um, and then, um, I can just, like, place in his wand, like so. And there we go. That is my better, um, Gellert Grindelwald. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, sorry if I butchered his name. But, um... Yeah, this guy looks amazing. He looks a lot better. Um, his legs are a bit stiff, but that's just my version. And I and does this minifigure look better um, than the one in the sets? Tell me in the comments. Myself, I think it looks better than the one in the sets, apart from the hair piece, just because the hair piece is a bit, like, too white. But, um, yeah, I think there's a perfect Grindelwald, apart from the hair. But that's it for today. Have an amazing day. I'm Darren Rooks 60. Peace out.